What up people, Demoghost here, and as you probably know, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is out in Japan. Unfortunately for me, I don't really have it here since I don't really feel like dropping 80 plus American dollars just so I can get it a little bit early and play with a total of two whole people in my nearby area online. So instead of sitting here doing nothing while I wait for the US release, I thought why not make the most important and valuable tier list that this game needs. A tier list that lets us know who's hot and who's not. So let's begin. First off, uh, let's just do here, um, uh, there we go, and we're just gonna put uh, Charlotte right there, there we go. Alright, so now we can really begin and get into who's hot and who's not. Alright, so first up we got La Diva. La Diva. <laughs> the Diva. I just got the pun for that name. Anyways, he clearly looks like a man that will just hold you tight in his, his massive pectoral muscles. And he's got a good beard, so we'll put him over here in A. Category A, yeah. You know, he ain't top of the list, but you know. <laughs> Alright, so uh, next up, we got Fairy, and I, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not super keen on the whole, like, animal ear anime girl thing, um, so I'm just gonna... Plus, she's, like, absolutely degenerate <laughs> in the game, from what I've seen, and so I'm just gonna put her over here and be, you know, she's, she's, yeah, she's alright. Next up, we got the protagonist of the game, Gran. And, uh, Grant is a basic bitch, man. He is, hmm, so boring. He is so basic. Uh, I just can't see him anywhere else besides he. He is, like, just that basic face, protagonist, insert yourself here, I guess. He just, do he doesn't do anything, man. He's just so boring. Alright. So next on the list, we have Catalina. And... Catalina is a, is a classy lady, man. She, she is fine. She is classy. She will outmaneuver you with her rapier skills. And, you know, she's, she's, not, she's not trying to be too, too revealing or anything. You know, she's wearing a full set of armor. And despite all that, Catalina is our first S tier. She is a classy lady with fine looks. All right. So next we have Lancelot. Now, Lancelot's actually the character that I played the most in the beta that I uh, actually played, and he is a handsome, strapping young lad. He's he's definitely the pretty boy of the bunch of of this this game. You know, they definitely um, emphasized his handsome, uh, charismatic looks, and I think he deserves to be up here in S tier with Catalina, cause. Man, he's, he's making all of them ladies swoon. He's got all the girls in the kingdom, the Grand Blue Kingdom, whatever the lore is, lining up to get with him, that's for sure. Alright, so... <laughs> so next up we got Loane, the boys, the the homies, and I don't know about you, uh, but three is too many for me. I'm, I'm not that kinky. I, I think I think Loane is uh, a little too much. Plus he's got those animal ears as well, you know. He's a bro, though. He is a bro. I definitely think he would um, get your back. You know, he'd be a great wingman. But as far as the handsome charms go, I think he's a solid B. You know, put him there with next to Fairy. Those two can hold that B tier by by themselves right now. Now we got Matera. I think that's how you say her name. Archery girl. She is definitely very fine. But I feel like she's she's like trying too hard. To be that sexy, sultry kind of persona person, you know, I don't know. She's just trying too hard. So, like, I think she would be S, except she's a little trying too little hard, too little too hard there for me. You know, I mean, for God's sake, she moans every time she uses a m ability in the game. Like, tone it back a little, girl. Tone it back. Now we got Flame Boy Percival, and I, I feel like. He's kind of along the lines of Lancelot, like, you know, he's got that pretty boy look, but he knows it. And that's the worst. He he just flaunts his handsomeness 
every chance he gets. You know, he'll he'll do a super awesome like fire move in the game, and then he'll just be like, just be like, oh, I'm just so damn good looking as I do this. And so that knocks him down a notch for me. You know, just put him right here. I think he's in the A tier, lining up with Matera and Lediva. And by the way, guys, there's no particular order to who's first and f foremost in these tiers. You know, if you're in the tier, you're in the tier. You're an A tier looking individual, or you're a S tier individual, or you're grand and no one talks about you because you're boring. All right, so finally, we're getting next up to Vasaraga. Vasaraga. I'm gonna go with that pronunciation. Vasaraga. He just he just ain't doing it, you know. He's just got a full set of armor and he's way too edgy, man. He's he's that edgy emo boy that couldn't get all the girls in high school, you know. Not that I would know anything about that. Anyways, so he's, uh, I'm going to put him squarely here in C tier next to Gran. You can't see anything past that armor. He's just all edge and no look. Alright, so we are down to our last character for this tier list, but... I don't think this tier list is quite adequate for our final contestant. So, I'm just gonna go over here and... Uh, cool. Alright, I think it is quite adequate now, and uh, Zeta goes here. Because Zeta is the best waifu. All your other waifu are shit! Come at me.